Welcome back, we got Gunslinger Suicidal Evacuation Point. I like this map, I don't know why we didn't start playing on it earlier, but uh, we're gonna start playing on it now. Or at least last week, when we, we played on it for the first time. But we are going to be playing on it quite a lot more because I really like it, it's a fun map. It's a, uh, it's a very fun map. And yes, this section up here I believe is actually a boat. A what? Yeah, yeah, no, this, this is this is a boat. It is a straight up just a boat. You got your your loading spot here. How much how much of this can we explore anyway? Let's go explore this boat. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go explore this boat. I like boats. You know, I was thinking about living on a boat for a while. Not a houseboat because houseboats are a very very expensive and hard to maintain, uh, and uh, B, not very fun to drive. Well, maybe they're fun to drive, but you're not gonna like take them out on the on the. Anyway, I wanted a. Uh... Okay, can't go up again. Cool. So this is this is as much as we can explore. Is this a, is this a ferry? Yes, yes, this would be a ferry. Yes, this is a ferry. Okay, so you know what? When I was going on my rant about how this reminds me of a ferry, I mean all I'm saying. Is it is a ferry. Now, should I have been attentive enough to have noticed that it is literally a ferry? Maybe. You have you have a valid point there, but I mean, look at this. How could you tell this is a ferry at first glance? I'm pretty sure I've been here, by the way. I mean, all ferries are basically the same. So why make why make ferries different, right? You just need it to be on the on the water. And then uh, you got you got your three different sizes of ferry, right? You got your pedestrian ferry for just ferrying people across like a river, because uh, you don't want to make a bridge. You got your your small ferry because you got to take pedestrians and uh, their vehicles across a canal or something. I don't know. Um, and uh, you need you need a little bit more umph for that but it's not it's not really high traffic so you don't need a you don't need a big thing right and then you got your your big ferry for for when you got uh, some high traffic environments you're crossing a decent amount of water you need to make a lot of trips every day and you're uh, you're, you're needing that 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 uh, the high capacity right this one I would say that this is on the uh, the small ferry side. Can't explore it too well, but I mean, this doesn't look it doesn't look that big. Well, maybe this is a bigger one. I don't know. It looks like it's only like three floors tall, which is like not that big. It might be like a medium one. I like fairies. I believe I talked about it in the last time that we were on this map, but I really enjoy fairies quite a lot. It's like boats. Anyway, I was thinking about living on a boat for a while, right? And, uh... Just because I like boats. I like I like being on the water. Some people have, like, you know, a thalassophobia or whatever. And, uh... Yeah, that's, that's fair. You, you can be you can be afraid of the depths if you if you want. You can be afraid of, uh, of all the, the stuff we don't know about the ocean. And be logically and... and very reasonably afraid of the uh, the likelihood of, of injury or death and being stranded, but to me, I find it beautiful. I find I find that you know we don't know so much about it. I find that just so fascinating. And then the ocean itself is just beautiful, you know. Like I don't know I don't know if uh, if any of you people any of y'all have been out on the uh, out on the ocean, right? Because the Lakes are one thing. You might have been on a kayak or a canoe or something out on a lake, right? And that's that's one thing. But you know, you can you can see the other side of the lake from from one side of the lake, right? Like on a lake, at no point in time, I don't know. Maybe there maybe there are lakes that are big enough for you to be in the middle of it and then not see land anywhere. Um, but just being out in the ocean and then not being able to see land. Like, all you see in every direction is just ocean. It's just water. 
the, the waves and you see the the uh, like whales off in the distance you, you can see fish kind of doing their thing in the water and you see the wake behind you you know, to me that's that's just uh, it's beautiful you know and to some people <laughs> it's terrifying and that's that's very reasonable because if you get stranded there you're, you're you're very likely going to be fine but it will be a terrifying experience because I mean realistically as long as you're being responsible on a, on a ship you'll probably have uh, access to you know safety rafts or vests um, you know emergency emergency stuff like that in case it goes down you have a way to contact you know to send off an SOS or whatever you know realistically worst case scenario on a ship on a, on a ferry you know worst case scenario on a ferry is honestly fine for for most people there might be you know you might hear of some deaths or whatever when a, when a ferry goes under right but um and you know, obviously you know you look back to like the Titanic or something and it's like really really the worst case scenario is you'll be fine <laughs> but the thing is is we're we're so much better at it now you know we we know what we're doing and you're not going out somewhere where like fairies fairies are done so much in the same route every time like it's basically automated right like they're they're very safe it's the, it's the cruises that I'd be worried about, really. I mean, honestly, what you gotta be worried about more than anything is... Is it a real Flesh Pound? No? What am I... Really, what you gotta be worried about more than anything is, uh... Is the people! You know, concern yourself with, uh, with being attacked by people more than the, the ship going under. Not that that will happen either, but... You know, lately they've made it so that uh, you can stay on you know, uh, before with the ferries near here, where I uh, where I live. Um, you weren't allowed to stay in your car on the um, this this layer. Like you got, uh, I think there's usually two floors of cars on uh, on the ferries that we have here anyway. Um, and you've got uh, like one floor here, and then there'll be one floor below. With uh, with the, the, the where the the vehicles go, right? And uh, you're not allowed to stay in your vehicle on these on these floors. Uh, also, these staircases are way smaller; <laughs> they're very cramped. Um, anyway, where's this stupid? Uh, you're not allowed to stay on the on uh, in your car. You have, to, you have to leave. You must leave your car. They have people go through and make sure that people aren't in their cars, right? Like, you cannot be in your car. Why? I don't really know. To be honest with you. Probably because there just isn't security down there, really. Besides, like, the odd person wandering through there, making sure people aren't in their cars. Um, so you could, if you were down there, end up somewhere that you shouldn't be, or hurt and not be able to get the help that you want. There's It's, it's, it's for cars, right? So, like, if you're not a car, don't be there. Um, anyway, so uh, lately, because of COVID, they've actually made it so you can sit in your cars. And a part of me is like, well, why can't you just do that all the time? Because I would sometimes rather just sleep in my car, <laughs> you know? Like, there have definitely, definitely been times on a ferry where I've been like, you know, I'm just tired. I, I just want to sleep. Especially on the way back home after uh, after being on a trip, you know, like the way the way there, you know, you're having fun, right? You're enjoying your ferry trip, and you're up on the roof, and well, not the roof, but the the deck, one of the decks anyway. And you're uh, you're having you're having fun, and uh, it's all good. Down on your way back, you're like two weeks off. You're like you're two weeks away from home, and you're tired, and you're just like, I just want to sleep. I've been driving for the last seven hours. You know? Okay, we're going back downstairs then. Cool beans. 
Find another staircase. Goodness gracious. Can we climb up this? We can't climb ladders in this game, right? No. Don't believe so. I definitely thought I'd be able to have shot him more than that. I couldn't. I thought I'd be able, I thought I thought I'd be able to hit him harder. That's my bad. Ah, that's my bad. Anyway, let's let's pass the ten minute mark. You know, they're making it so that uh, eight minutes is what you need for the advertisements. I don't I don't do this for the advertisements. I just think ten minutes is a good length for a video. So it'll still be ten minutes, even though the advertisement like mid roll thing is eight minutes now. Um but 10 minutes is what I like for a video. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. And subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.